Well, we have the news about Amazon potentially allowing to uh, pay with uh, cryptos by the end of this year, and then maybe possibly introducing their own token uh, by next year. And that is obviously super exciting. Like quite a lot of people have PayPal accounts across the world, but I think almost everyone, at least in the Western world, has an Amazon account. Like, uh, so that is super exciting. Like myself, I, I buy and sell cryptos, but there are very few spaces where I can actually spend my cryptos. But if uh, Amazon suddenly, you know, allows you to pay with Bitcoins and then that that's really amazing. So we're looking at possibly some sort of a move exactly like we saw when we had PayPal last year. You know, when PayPal announced that they're going to allow uh, buy and sell some cryptos, we saw a massive move. Amazon, I think, is even bigger. But if we also look at it from a different perspective, um, if a lot of people already have Amazon as an application, well, what's going to stop them from uh, allowing people to transfer money just to each other simply from one account to another, much like, uh, you know, some of the uh, social media platforms and social media applications we have in China. So it's actually super exciting, this news. Now, from a technical point of view, you know, we moved up quite sharply and I would prefer actually if price could slow down here for a few days. And then, you know, if we trade above 41, we can probably go to 50 and then maybe to 60. But I think, and I would prefer if the market could slow a little bit here because it's a little bit like a human, you know, if we run and run and run and run, then ultimately the price gets really tired. And we don't want the price to get tired too early um, because we're up with about 35% in the last few days. So people are going to say, oh, the price is already up with 35%. You know, why should I buy now? Maybe it's just going to go to 50 or 40, right? So, so it's better if we have a cool down period, a little break, and then maybe next week we trade higher. Awesome. I think it's definitely due to the Amazon announcement primarily. Now, obviously, when we moved higher last week from around 29,000 is people that have a very long term view and that think that, you know, Bitcoin will be implemented in the long run. Uh, but but the final, I would say at least the final, say, 17, 20 percent or 70. I mean, for, if it's today, it's just 13 percent, but sort of the last 17 percent or so is on anticipation of of this Amazon deal. But if we think about it, Amazon introducing the ability to pay with the cryptos, it's not a crazy idea, to be honest. I think it's a fully normal idea. And yes, if they go out and deny it, then I think we will really quickly be back at 35, maybe down at 34. And then people are going to wait again and look for the next catalyst to, to buy uh, cryptos. The, it's a very good sign that we're looking at, right? The problem is if you would buy today, like the price tomorrow, even if they deny or don't deny, the price can easily be down with 10% uh, because the price is is trapped. So it's trapped between 29,000 and 41,000. So it's, it's people are buying close to 29,000 or they're selling close to 41. So always when we want to make an investment, we want to see, okay, how, how much can we risk and how much can we lose? So if they go out and deny, in worst case, Bitcoin is going to go all the way down to about 29,000. So you're looking at a potential uh, loss of say 26%. But say that we buy uh, around 36, 35,000, then your potential loss is about 20%. And if we, in, if we indeed implement these things, then indeed we go higher, maybe you're going to be trading at 60. So you're looking at a 20% loss versus maybe a 65% return. And, and it's those things that are important uh, when, when taking a decision here. Uh, so myself, I'm waiting to, to buy. I want to give this a little bit more time uh, before taking a decision in, in Bitcoin. But there, of course, there are, other, there are other cryptocurrencies that are looking interesting. Like you have a, a small cryptocurrency called Crypto.com, uh, Crow, which is interesting. And I'm sure there's much more other uh, pairs or, or smaller cryptos where the relationship between potential reward and potential loss is, is at a good balance 